We are talking with Mark Faber, the editor and publisher of the Room, Room and Doom report. Nice to meet you, Mark. Yes, equally. Thank you. What do you think of the recent rally in dollar in your view? Is it possible for the euro to drop at the parity? I don't think the euro will go to parity, but can it go down another 10-15% easily? I think the eurozone will bail out Greece. They will also bail out other countries like probably Spain at some stage or Portugal. And that is obviously not favorable for the currency. But this is the pattern we have today. We had excesses and uh, we had a misallocation of capital between 2002 and 2007. Then in 2008 we have a financial crisis, a period of deleveraging sets in. But then the governments come in and bail out essentially companies that failed, notably in the financial sector. And of course in the US the two biggest bailouts were Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, which were governor government-sponsored enterprises and in Europe they will have to bail out countries like Greece and this is basically a monetization and it leads to a loss of purchasing power of paper money both for the US dollar and the euro now I believe that all paper currencies are not desirable that they will lose value will the euro lose more value than the US dollar could be for six months and then maybe the US dollar loses more value than the euro will have kind of a shift in general I think that the Asian currencies are in a reasonably good position to appreciate further as the Singapore dollar has recently done I'm less optimistic about the Australian dollar and the Canadian dollar because they are very tight into the commodity cycle. You know, if I expect the Chinese economy to slow down or even to have some kind of a bursting of the property bubble, then it will affect the demand of China for industrial commodities and that would be negative for Australia and Canada. Thank you for your time with us, Mark.